right, we are wrapping up Commuter Week here at KTLA, and Frank has been our latest victim, I mean, uh, volunteer, <laughs> uh, participant. Uh, he rode his bike to work He today. did an excellent job. He, he only really fell did. once. I know. Only fell one time. <laughs> did, you, but did you break the skin? It was, a, it was a technical issue. Okay. I, I was trying to move the phone, Let's and I wasn't paying video. attention, and I hit the front brake, and I went over the, the front, so it was a little painful, but uh, we're okay. Uh, I've got some good uh, pals here, Henry Shea and uh, Ron uh, Durgan. Durgan uh, they're both with uh, the Los Angeles Bicycle Coalition. Is that the right? Los Angeles County Bicycle Coalition. And you guys were my sort of my tour guides. Uh, it took us an hour to get here, but we stopped a few times along the way, and it was, it was really easy. Right. Uh, it'll probably take about 30 minutes. And, uh, you know, you did one of the classic things where you're so engrossed with whatever you're doing, and well, you're not, you're, all of a sudden you have to stop, right. and you hit your left front brake, which is classic. So a lot of people do that. You hit that brake and you go right over. Well, you see, and that's why I did it for you, the home viewer, to give you a teachable moment. It was, uh, it was on purpose that I fell. Uh, Ron, uh, t tell me about that. The, the, you, uh, my biggest concern was getting hit by a car. Turned out that uh, I fell on my own. You were saying that that's more the sort of the, the norm. Yeah, yeah. About 50% of all uh, crashes on bicycles are, are independent of cars and anything else. It's just people falling down. So, uh, you know, a lot of people are afraid of motorists overtaking them from behind and other things like, you know, just falling down because of cracks or surface hazards in the road and also uh, riding in the door zone is a common, common cause. All right, and we, you know, I, I, I did some research and we got some etiquette tips that we want to show you if, if you are considering uh, riding your bike on the train or on the bus. Let me throw those up and then I will read them to you. Uh, one is uh, if you're taking your bike on the train, allow other passengers to board or disembark first. Hold the bike with the kickstand up. We did that. And walk your bike in the stations and on platforms. If you go on a bus, a different uh, group of etiquette tips. Uh, they are if the rack is full, that's the thing in front of the bus. You gotta wait for the next bus. If and the biker is responsible for loading and unloading the bus, you don't you don't ask the bus driver to do that. And you have to make your bike rack ready. That that is to remove all the sort of things that uh, could uh, get in the way. And if you if you're a boss and you want to have uh, your employees uh, take take their bikes to work, let me show you that graphic again. Provide changing facilities, showers if possible. That would be the one thing I would say for my trip. When I got here, I did not have a shower that I could take, and I'd love to be able to take a shower. Provide secure bicycle parking, and it's important to have management support so you can say to your employees, look, we know you're trying to save the environment. We know that you're trying to save on gas. Here's a great way to do it. So those are some, some tips for you. Thank you to you guys. Thanks. We have uh, Russ Roca here, and check out Russ's bike. He has so much stuff on it because he is an eco-friendly photographer. He carries all of his stuff for his business on his bike. And Russ, you go from job to job with the bike. Yeah, I ride about 20 to 50 miles a day uh, doing different portrait assignments and magazine assignments. And, uh, you know, it's a great way to travel. And I think, you know, a lot of my customers really appreciate it. Is L.A. bike friendly? Uh, it's getting there. I mean, it's not as bad as uh, some people think, but there's definitely a lot of uh, things, uh, you know, in terms of infrastructure and city support that'll make it more bike friendly. All right. Well, I want to thank all of you. Uh, the Los Angeles Bike uh, Bicycle Coalition, you guys have a, a seminar this weekend. You guys are teaching folks how to ride bikes, and we've got some information at uh, KTLA.com on how to, how to get a hold of that. I want to thank uh, Ben from Archon for giving us the phone mount that allowed us to have the uh, streaming uh, cool. pictures for you. So uh, that was good very stuff. exciting. It was a lot of fun, guys. Congratulations. Really to good you. stuff. Good to, well done, you. Frank Buckley. You arrived thank alive. You. <laughs> I'm right. jealous. I'd like to ride. Yeah, I would love to do yeah, it. Cool. Cool. Next week, Eric Spillman on the bike. All right, more from Frank later. Coming up, her VH1 reality show was a huge success. And now New York has a new one in the works. She joins us live at 9 to tell us all about it. And she played Will Ferrell's wife in Talladega Nights. Leslie Bibb is here live in just a few minutes to tell us where we can find her this weekend and what she's up to. We'll be right back.